Right. Hi, everyone. We're Team 28, designing a Pulse programming language. Uh, team members are Sarah, Shin, Dio, and me, Anastasia. And big thank you to our coaches, Thomas and Maika. So why are we doing this? So right now, uh, CASM doesn't allow for direct control of pulses, and researchers really need that. They want to be able to do things that are dependent on their hardware for device calibration and characterization, and to make hardware effective programs. And they really don't want to be tied to a specific game model. So our solution was to design and implement a parser uh, using the standard Python package and for pulse programming, and that's interpreted to form a pulse schedule. So for our project, we are introducing CASM 3.0. Uh, we can express circuits directly using pulses or gates in Open CASM and Kiskit Terra. And uh, we can create a new set of, we actually created a new set of objects, types, and methods that allow expression of any circuit using these seven object definitions here. So uh, how do we even figure this out? So we actually played with the 20 qubit backend uh, here to, and took apart these gates uh, that are standard and put them into pulses. From here, we tried to understand what definitions we needed, and that's how we came up with this new grammars here. So here's a before in CASM 2.0, which is entirely gate-based. This is a quantum teleportation that you're familiar with. And here's uh, what quantum teleportation looks like in CASM 3.0. So it's the same circuit, but we utilize our new grammar and our new syntax language to replace the gates with the pulse definition. So after we decided what it's supposed to look like, uh, what do we have to do? So we had to implement um, this new lexer and parser to understand what these play frame changes new definitions look like. And this took apart uh, the words into a syntax tree to understand the language. And we also needed to implement the converter that takes this abstract syntax tree and puts it into a graph and puts it into command definition. Unfortunately, we figured out that there was kind of an issue in the code that makes it kind of hard to do in 24 hours. So we implemented a hack, this microprogram, that you can put the pulses inside right now and actually make it work. So what we've completed, we've completed the design and proof of concept based on this uh, backend. We've updated the lexer and parser nodes for all the definitions. Uh, we've done the converter part with our hack. Uh, we've included support for custom samples and uh, created this RFC proposal with its new programming language. Examples are in the code folder and we structured it for seamless integration into CASM. So projects for future investigation is the real implementation of the converter. We'll probably have to rewrite a lot, so that's on the plate. Uh, we also want metadata for specific backends. So for example, getting the pulse sample names from the specific backends, we want to implement that in, and getting the duration of the pulse to use on delay. So thank you so much. We welcome comments and suggestions to our RC below, and uh, our code is right there. Thank you. Thank you, guys. On stage now, we have Quantum Neural Network.